So while it's raining, we're gonna have a quick bite at this beautiful restaurant. As you can see, it's pretty cool. Got even got a singer. Time for lunch. We're gonna eat in this little gazebo. Um, kind of fun. Along this koi pond and the jungle. Okay, after actually a really good lunch, very good lunch, had a honey glazed salmon. Now we're walking to the rice fields here in Ubud. Um, I'm pretty excited because I've always wanted to see rice terraces. I've been to the Philippines multiple times, but I never got to see the rice terraces. So I'll see them here in Indonesia. The rice terraces in Ubud are an UNESCO World Heritage Site. Come explore the cascading rice fields and learn the different types of rice grown in the area. They are the most green in March, August, and September. They're also green in December, but because it's the rainy season, it's a little slippery, which is why I nearly slipped a couple of times. So we're heading down to the rice fields. It's kind of a trek to walk all the way down, but this place is kind of neat to have zip lining, uh, sky bikes, swings, and a bunch of other stuff, but it's raining, so there's not really a lot of people partaking in the activities, and I almost ate it. So this is the rice. Next to me is um, GMO rice is what he's calling. It takes about three months to, um, to mature, but the rice along the terrace over there is uh, more of a specific rice. It takes six months to mature. Obviously one of the biggest agricultural exchanges here is rice, hence all the rice field. Now the hard part is climbing up all these steps to get back since, oh my gosh, these steps are big, but it was worth the trek. So we're now at the Tirta Temple. It's a holy spring, so we're gonna check it out and see what that's about. So this temple is dedicated to the god of war, and there's his statue. So to enter the temple, we need sarongs, so we're gonna borrow some sarongs. Tirta Empul Temple is dedicated to Vishnu, the Hindu god of water. The temple is famous for its holy spring water where Balinese Hindus go to for ritual purification. Although I saw varying steps, I followed what our guide told me to do. He said to start at the far left fountain and at each one say a prayer, cup water in your hands, wash your face, and completely submerge your head in the fountain. He told me to skip the last two fountains because those two were reserved for the dead. To get the blessing, you start with all of these except for the last two because that's for death. And then you start with a prayer or a wish. Then you wash your hands to wash away all your bad deeds. Wash your face, your head I mean, to wash all your thoughts and you drink a little bit um, to clear and bless and wash all the bad things that you've said. So we did all of it. What a great experience.
Well, I feel bamboozled because I just found out that this green water is what feeds the fountains that I was just washing my face in to get purified. <laughs> so to finish our um, third day in Bali, we're going to have dinner here at Jimbaran. It's a fresh seafood market where you pick and buy the seafood you want. They cook it up for you and you enjoy it. So after you pick the seafood you want, they grill it fresh here and then they serve it to you over by the beach. So we've completed a full day of our tour today, long day. I think we had, wow, um, like a 15, 16 hour day today. Very tired, um, went to town a lot. Then the monkey forest, rice terraces. Um, oh, the Holy Springs. Um, and then the marketplace in Jimbara, so another successful day so we'll see you tomorrow where we go travel to uh, Nusa Penida for some beaches and snorkeling. We made it to Nusa Penida. Enjoying some fresh coconut juice with a view. So I am currently at Crystal Beach in Nusa Penida in Indonesia just an island off the coast of Bali.